Hi, my name is Loei and I'm an art therapist. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, I'm going to talk about different learning activities, full arts and play, for children ages 6 to 10, and show you how you can carry them out step by step. Today, I'm going to talk about verbal sharing, its importance and applications. In previous videos, I introduced different art making activities, and you may have the impression that art making is the most important part of the whole learning process. Yes, art making is important. Besides being a nonverbal expression and a learning tool, it also bears the role of facilitating verbal expression. Language use is encouraged throughout all the lesson plans. Verbal expression is an important cognitive developmental ability and is one of the learning goals of our classes. Verbal sharing helps us to understand children's feelings, thoughts, experiences, and knowledge. We get to know more about them and it helps to validate what they know and what they have learned. In addition, verbal sharing promotes mutual understanding and support between peers, which strengthens relationship building and social development. There are different ways to promote language development. For example, during introductions, it's good to use pictures or objects as visual cues to facilitate children to express their views. Make a visual form for the class with integrated concepts and pictures, and design tasks that require verbal expression, such as identify and describe a landscape with the help of an image. Imagine how they would feel, various senses they would experience if they were in this environment. Furthermore, we can expand children's language use through associating the activity with their personal experiences, such as if we present an image of spring, in addition to the information from the image. We can also ask them what colors they see in the spring, what they like about spring, and their favorite activities in the spring. When we ask questions, it's better to ask elicitive questions that are short and simple, open-ended, rooted in genuine curiosity, and often start with what, how, when, where, and who, which encourage children to speak and share their stories, feelings, thoughts, and knowledge, and help us to understand their experiences. Elicited questions are not yes or no questions, and don't look for a right answer. A teaching method, which is called Visual Thinking Strategies VTS, also addresses elicitive questions. It includes the following questions. What is going on in this picture? What do you see that makes you say that? What more can we find? We refrain and summarize children's answers and develop the conversation based on children's responses. Furthermore, the art making process and product also help encourage verbal expression. Ask children to share their feelings and thoughts about the process and describe the details of their artwork. The artwork provides support for children's sharing and they can articulate with the help of the visual information. We validate their experiences and accomplishments, which reinforces further sharing and confidence. If children are too young or their language skills are not fully developed, they're welcome to use alternative approaches such as pointing, drawing, or gestures to express themselves. We can also start with yes or no questions to make the task easier for them to respond. Also, describe the features of an object and then ask them to identify and discriminate. In the activities mentioned above, even though children do not speak all the time, they are receiving and listening to language and they are learning. In addition, follow children's behaviors and emotions and describe from your observation, such as, I see that you're picking up the tissue paper to make flowers. You look excited to make this project. When we label children's actions and emotions, we are helping them to expand vocabulary. They can agree or disagree with us, which helps us and the children to distinguish emotions and thoughts. Moreover, other activities such as discussion, writing, and a worksheet can facilitate children to use language to strengthen their learning and express opinions regarding the lesson topics and their personal experiences. Make the worksheets colorful with graphics and include varying ways of responding to maintain children's interests. You can design your own worksheet or use the worksheet at the end of my book. You may find the book information below. 
these are the main methods I use in my class. You may utilize them flexibly in different activities to promote children's language development. If you find this information helpful, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.